Hello guys, Anthony David is name aka Chidav and welcome to another amazing video. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to go about splitting your wear yam into mini set and the essence of splitting or um, doing a cutting into mini set is we want to we don't want to buy seed yam next planting season okay so we just want to use this and then prepare it on another space we're not going to plant in this in sack because we're not going to get a wear yam at the end of the day if we plant a mini set so what we're going to be doing basically I'm going to be showing you is how to split into into the required sizes so what is a mini set a mini set is just a technique that we use to multiply and yam seeds mini sets are just very um very uh, tiny yam yam sets that are between 20 gram to about 50 gram that is what mini sets are they are between 20 grams to like 50 grams so and then what we do basically is we cultivate this mini set we plant them uh, just the same way we plant normal and we plant them but at the end of the day what we're going to get won't be a big tuber like this no we won't get a big tuber like this what we'll get at the end of the day will be seed yam seed when we do that then we'll have enough yam seed this with this single yam that you're seeing here we can get about 20 to 30 mini sets from it so you know what that means so at the end of the day by next planting season we're going to be having already 30 tubers of yam from this single tuber which if i was to split this into sets i might just be able to get about five tubers or five sets which would then i can then cultivate to grow into where i am so that is the advantage of the mini set technique you're able to multiply into several several pieces when you do or use the mini, uh, the mini set technique so i'm going to be showing you you know earlier i made mention that the mini set weighs between 20 gram to 50 gram so i'm going to be showing you how to go about the splitting so that you do not do it the wrong way all right guys so let's dive in the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to like now i don't want to cut the head i'm going to be planting the head so i'll take out the head okay i'll take out the head this is going to give me a where i am so the first thing you need to ensure the cross section all you need to do is from one cross section to another shouldn't be it should be between six centimeter six to seven centimeter which is this around here six to seven centimeter just between here and here okay so i would split and i'll split all of them into that size okay i'll split all of them into that size I'll split them into that size so this is so the next thing i will do is i'll split this okay and I'll also split it again so this is a mini set now so if you want to split this now this is what we're going to be planting to get a yam seedling for the next planting season so I'm also going to repeat the same process for the other remaining ones so this is it these are the mini set the same process I'm going to repeat okay these are the same process I'm going to repeat I'm going to repeat Same process I'm gonna repeat
Okay, so all right, so now we've been able to realize all of this. Okay, we've been able to realize all of this, but I need to explain something to you. The yam has what we call the yam eye. This is where you find the yam eye, or this is what we call the yam board. All right, so this is where it is found. This is the growing point of the yam, not necessarily the head. Some people feel, oh, it's only the head that the yam could actually emerge from the vine of the yam. Could that no, all of these parts has the board of the yam where the new yams are going to grow from so what you ensure you do is one you ensure that your yams are disease free as you can see they are disease free the wear yam you are going to be using you ensure it is disease free and you ensure you don't damage the surface because this is where the yam is going to sprout from so you ensure you don't damage the surface so after we are done with this the next stage will now be to treat them all right you have to then treat them in a chemical now the reason why you have to treat them is if you cultivate them like this exposed what you are going to do is you are then going to expose it to insect and fungi attack even nematode attack is what you are also going to expose all of these yams to so that is why you have to treat it and ensure that they are they are protected protected against all of these infectious diseases okay against pests against the fungi against also nematode and all of that all you need to do is we are just doing all of this so that at the end of the day we are going to get very healthy seedlings which we are then going to cultivate to get our yam. okay so that is just the technique we are going to be cultivating this okay and that is why you see now why we are not using this so we're going to cultivate this this is going to give us this and then this will give us another planting material we're going to use to cultivate this to get a wear yam okay next planting season i just needed to understand the difference between set and a mini set so that when you cut you don't cut into mini set and then expect to get a wearing yam no you ain't gonna get a wearing yam okay mm -hmm.